Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to talk a topic that's been on my mind lately and I'm sure it's on the minds of many others as well. Why is it so expensive to have a child in the USA? As a Filipino living in New England, I've had first-hand experience and I want to share some insights with you. But before we continue, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss any of our future content. First and foremost, let's talk about health care costs. Prenatal care, childbirth, and postnatal care in the USA can be incredibly expensive, even with insurance. In my personal video, I share the breakdown of the bills and the surprises I encountered. Trust me, it's an eye-opener. You can find the link to my personal birth cost video in the description below so you can see the details for yourself. Now, here's something many don't realize. The lack of paid family leave. In my experience, my husband had to take leave without pay from his state job. He had to dip into his own personal and vacation time just to get paid during the time we needed it most. Regarding the paid family leave, the Bureau of Labor Statistics shows that only about one in four employees or 24% in the private sector workforce have access to paid family leave. More than three in four or 76% private sector employees do not have access to paid family leave. It is a tough situation that many parents in the USA face. It is important to plan for it. Next, let's discuss childcare costs. Daycare, Preschool and after-school programs here can be incredibly expensive, often rivaling the cost of rent or mortgage payment. In this eye-opening snapshot, we explore the stark variation in child care costs across different states in the USA, from affordable option to budget-busting expenses. The average cost of child care paints a compelling picture of financial challenges faced by parents nationwide. In this striking snapshot, we confront a severity reality. The number of weeks a minimum wage worker must toil at full time just to cover a year of child care expenses. It's a powerful reminder of the financial hurdles many families face in providing quality care for their children. This can be a significant financial burden for many families, and it's something you need to consider when budgeting for a child. And lastly, Education expenses. Planning for your child's future education can start right from the moment they are born. And it's a long-term financial commitment that parents need to consider. In this telling graph, we witness the relentless accent of college tuition fees, whether for a two-year or four-year course, at both private and public institutions. The visual representation highlights the growing financial burden on students and families seeking higher education. It is important to understand these costs and explore ways to prepare for your child's educational future. To wrap it up, having a child in the USA can be an expensive journey due to high healthcare costs, the lack of paid family leave, childcare expenses, and future education expenses. Be sure to check out my personal experience video for an even deeper dive into the costs I encountered. If you found this information helpful or if you have your own experience to share, please leave your comment below. And if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Thank you for joining me today and remember to click the link in the description for my personal birth cost video. Take care and see you on my next video.